for all. You are now live with the Humble Prince of Sahara FM Radio. Yeah. Yep, and we're back, live with the Humble Prince, Sahara FM Radio, like we never even left. Guys, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm getting all your Facebook um, inbox messages and your tweets, and um, we're going to ask about um, Bookie's relationship status towards the end of the show. <laughs> Is it being oh, okay. uh, a whole lot of people, people are asking. inquiring? These, these inquiring dudes are, minds want yeah. to know. Inquiring but minds want to But right now, to um, again, I'm joined by my co-host extraordinaire, actor, <laughs> writer, and producer, E.B. Manzik. Thank you so much. And of course, international model, Eva Bacola Toby. Guys, thank you so much. I hope you guys are having fun. This, oh, is, this is by far blast. one of the best shows I ever had, man. The, thank the you most so much. fun I've had without liquor. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> fantastic. So let's talk oh. about. Um, so, Ibi, you're from. You're Epic, right? I'm Epic. Okay. I was raised in Calabar, Cross okay. River. Come and live and be at peace. Okay. That's our. So, there's this I myth yeah. that. Oh. Or be at rest, actually. Come and live and be at rest. Okay. That's the acronym for Calabar. Oh, wow. What, oh. Well, there's this myth that once you go, that Calabar women are like number one in Nigeria. They know how to take care of um, men Witness. in the kitchen. They know how to cook. And yes. they're bedmatics. Yes. It's out of this world. They know how to move. And yes. they know how to do all yes. that. They, mm. you, know, <laughs> uh, you guys don't swing from poles, do you? Stereotypes. From... Stere no, I'm not Mimi Faust. I don't swing from shower <laughs> We're going to talk about that, too. Yeah, we will talk about but, that. Okay, oh. so... What, what, what is the myth and how did it start? I know they said ah. they start training you guys from like five. Please. Yes, run. man. It it's me. so yeah. annoying. I even had, and I'm not going to mention her name, a renowned, very renowned Nigerian actress and I on set talking and she actually said this to me. She's like, oh yeah, I heard when you guys are five, they train you guys how to take care of a man. And I'm like, at five? Really? I mean... Who's training Fuck. us? Pedophiles? You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on. Now, yes, ethnic women or, or girls or whatever right. are taught how to take care of a home. How to nurture your man. How to know, exactly. How to know how to speak to your man. Mm. Because, you know, for instance, when I was 13, when I was 13, my grandmother said to me, she's like, you know, you're going to get married one day, and when you do, this your nya 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 is not gonna work. Hmm. She, she said to me, when I'm, if no matter how annoyed your husband makes you, when he comes through that door, let him put his, you know, suitcase or whatever yeah. down or portmanteau, like she said, put it down. Let him step inside his home. Make him something nice to eat. Then you bring up whatever it is. Women, your are issue you paying is. attention to this? You shit? know. So those are the things I was taught. We say, this is how we say Nefik. That means you have to it know how to, how to speak to your husband in a manner that makes him listen to you. Exactly. You know? So that's right. the thing. And then, yes, we are known for our cooking. We're known for our hospitality. And we're taught right. how to be charming. Right. Okay. They, we know all that. What now, about the bed mantics? The bed mantic yeah. thing, I don't know where that came from. You know, and I've had people say to me, oh, I've heard that, you know, ethnic women can go at it for 12 hours. Wow. And I'm like, wow. I don't think anybody can That's go a, at it for 12 <laughs> hours. That's a marathon right there. That's Again, a, it's not about <laughs> the sex, the act of the sex. It's the foreplay before, which is being charming. To your man oh. creating a home that is peaceful oh. creating a home that is inviting okay. and how you treat your in-laws all those things come into play oh so if God. your man is happy with the cooking if your mm -hmm. man comes home to a peaceful right. house the bedmatic automatically because is I, going to be wonderful i could imagine because they say guys that marry um Ethic, ethic women. women, they never leave. They never leave their wives. Listen, let me tell you, there ah. must be some some kind of uh, method to the madness right. there. So, and you guys don't use medicine or juju or voodoo and or anything. That, no, <laughs> right. I mean the thing is that Once you go again, ethic, you never it's come back. it's it's not about juju and it's not about you know what whatever right. extra stuff you're doing. The extra that we do is knowing how to be careful. Hmm. Knowing how to hey, talk to your husband from the heart. And another thing that ethnic women are renowned for is we let our man be boss. When he's out there, but he knows 
cool running things when we get home. And that, sure. But we're not going to put our husband out there and, and run things. We're not those kind of women to be See? wanting to wear the pants. We'll let you wear the pants. But best believe, no decision is made out of this house without my Let's get this woman around the floor. Factoring in on it. Just with the young, Oprah, all of them. It's this true. is the best Shout relationship out. advice you could get right here, man. Yeah, right there. You can still remain a woman in your home, yeah. but let a man be a man it's in his true. home. Fantastic. I a always say that it's like driving a car. I'll let my husband drive the car, but if you're going towards a ditch, best believe, boo, I'm turning that wheel over. Fantastic. But in the meantime, I'm going to let you drive. Yeah. Um, Bookie, you hmm. want to just add to that? Um, or you were just paying attention? I was, because I'd never heard of this before. So I, the, I'm learning so, that they were mm -hmm, like, child, once you go, up, I, like epic I said, or up, you our, never go back? Yeah. Growing oh, up, one of our okay. house girls was from Calabar, man. And, you know, anyway, anyway let's go to the next yeah. topic. <laughs> um, <laughs> but thank you for sharing that. It's about the charm. Exactly. It's about the hospitality. So it's not a myth. So it's. It's, it, it, it's, it's the way it is stereotyped that annoys me. Okay. Like when a man would see me and he knows I'm from Calabar, when I was single, mm -hmm. they would automatically. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're from hey. Calabar. Yeah. And they're giving me that look like, ah, you're from Calabar. Wow. Hey. Wink, wink. Yeah. yeah and, and that's what I find annoying because we are more than Man, what just, goes on in the bedroom. Just more than great sex. Yes. Oh, so right. that's what, oh. Yes. What but, brings about the great uh, sex is how we treat you before right. we get there. So but once your man feels like he's the king, Right. Man, the sex going to feel great. Yeah, but, you know, but let's not, you know, <laughs> so guys, you know, um, if you can't, I mean, so women, follow the blueprint yes. from the Calabar woman, man. See, <laughs> follow it if you want to keep your man.